Brendan Bruni is a native from Springfield, and he actually studied at Chicopee High School and is currently a junior in Westfield State University. He is an English major, and he is here in Spotlight on the Arts to bring us some of his talent. Welcome, Brendan. How are you? I'm good, Johnny. How are you? I'm great. Nice to see you. Um, tell us about your academic endeavors now that you're in Westfield State University going from uh, STCC and, and, and Chicopee High. Okay, so um, I went, actually came from Holyoke Community College. I graduated right. from Chicopee High in uh, class 2015. I recently got my associates in creative writing from Holyoke Community College. I got accepted to Springfield College, AIC, UMass, Amherst, and Westfield State. And Westfield State just made the most sense like personally and like home-wise, and it had a good fit. Nice, and what do you like the most about your major, English? I, I, let's, be, let's, let's be realistic, not a lot of people decide to embark in that uh, in that ma major, right? What made you study English and um, what do you like about it? I love English because it lets you really, it's a confession of the soul and I really love writing poetry. My poetry has been published all around the country. I got quoted by Marvel four times. I work for a little daily um, paper called Daily Planet out of Minnesota. So, you know, opportunities arise and I just take them by the horns and I just let it go. Yep. And I just love English so much to where I love writing papers. I write a lot of journals. Uh, I write a lot of essays. Poetry is my favorite thing though. And how do you, uh how would you define your, your work in, in particular and how do you play with uh, rhythm and words and emotions? Ooh, see, Tell me about your craft. Let's, let's deep into, dive deep into okay, that. Okay. Um, my craft, it's, um, I got called Walt Whitman and uh, Edgar Allan Poe put together. Oh, wow. By a few professors. So, um, I, you know, at sometimes I feel like I can't rhyme, but I just put music in. I just let my, uh, my heart write for me. Um, I always had this saying, once you let your heart write, then your true passion will come to light. That's and, amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Thank you. I mean, you. even in your description of your craft, you seem to be poetic. So that's amazing and an amazing use of the English <laughs> language. Um, so about your works, where are you now? I know you've written, you've published. Uh, what is your next project? My next project right now is currently pursuing my, um, my bachelor's degree in English at Westfield State and I'm looking to continue on and probably get my master's in like teaching or like journalism or some facet of the English language and currently I'm just looking to publish my work. I have a few poems I brought today and um, you know I wrote one about St. Patrick's Day and about because I'm Irish and Scottish and it's called Black Sodder Mayo and there's another one I wrote for um, it's a cultural representation of what um, a starry night from Van Gogh truly represents. Ooh, I'd love to hear that one. Yeah. So um, I, uh, I, I'd like to know more about your uh, content. What tends to be a recurring theme in your writing? It's very raw, powerful, emotional, and reflective of life. It's commentary on the world, and it's also emotional aspects of what truly makes someone human. Thank you. Thank you so much for being able to describe that so efficiently. I love your use of words. So without further ado, I wanted to listen to uh, Mr. Rooney's creation. So the stage is yours. Stretching to the heavens, an ocean imagination. Are you up for the voyage full of vibrant colors ranging from milky blue bearing innocence or swirls of conscience harboring integrity? Lush, luminous light animates off the crescent moon. Stars feel distant yet warm. Denizens below assimilate into the frame. Not a whisper or sight in the distance away. Relics of a past long forgotten. Seeds of fruition planted by a higher power. Now a tree of vitality stretching to the heavens. Mossy in doubt, emerald in thought. Humans cry out to reach God. Plead for penance, prayers go quiet, slumber began to ensue. Thank you so much for that piece of work. I, I, I really like your use of words and, and, and the fact that this poem not only talks about, uh, about, about your life experience, it also empowers your culture and, and, and those around you. 
So thank you for joining Spotlight on the Arts. Where can people find your writings? Where can people find you in social media? Oh, uh, they can find me on Twitter at uh, Bren versus Reviews. That's my Twitter account. My Instagram is Bren Rooney sixty one. I have a Facebook account, so you can find me. Just look up my name. Uh, my account is. Uh, you can type in my name actually. You can go Brendan Rooney slash author, and it will come up to my page on Daily Planet where I write for. So I, you can find me in the internet. You can Google me. So it's pretty cool. Nice. So there you have it. That's how you can contact Mr. Rudy and hear more about his work, read more about his work. And here at the Chicopee Cultural Council, we want to uh, wish you the best in your academic endeavors. Being a junior, it, it must not be easy <laughs> in Westville State University. But I, I know that you're so talented, you're definitely going to have a lot of success. So thank you, everyone, for tuning in to another episode of Spotlight on the Arts. This was a celebration of National Poetry Month. I'm Johnny Miranda, and I hope to see you next time. You need to jump on the wagon and join your neighbors on April 24th with our citywide cleaning initiative. The Chicopee Clean Sweep, brought to you by the Chicopee Cultural Council, is an initiative to clean up the entire city where we can all have an input. Join your team and you can win up to $100 for the charity of your choice. Remember to join us and sign up on the link in the description. A clean Chicopee is a work of art.